All right, we covered a lot with uh, some basis uh, here on getting, getting grip established. Let's jump right in now to physiology. Okay, and this is a great one to do in the class. Um, I'll use my left hand here. So take your hand, okay, your, one of your hands, your, your strong hand, your dominant hand, and let your gripping fingers, your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger kind of kind of droop like this, as you see. And have your index finger extended, let's say vertical, like this. Thumb flagged, thumb always up, okay? Now for dear life, all right, go ahead and grab a rope. So you can tell your students, that you kind of put your finger in there maybe, you can do that. Um, or imagine there's a thin rope that you gotta really, really grab for dear life, all right? And I say for dear life because you want that visceral, you know, kind of really reactive type of grab, all right? Uh, which can happen, right? With shooting and stress and what have you and, and, and sharp stimulus. All right, well you notice, and I love this drill because you, you notice that, that, that co-contraction, it's not really truly a sympathetic response like left or right hand. This is, from my understanding, it's actually a co-contraction, meaning that the tendons in our fingertips are all connected to the base way up here in our forearm. So our fingers really act as one unit to, to pick the berries and, and do whatever survival skills we need to operate like this, okay? Problem is, we generally understand that our gripping fingers down here need to be isolated from this trigger finger up here. And if we have a rope style grip, where, where really what that means is the fingertips are being brought in to the sides, there is um, some things going on with our trigger finger and it's uncontrollable. It, it's, it's not even neural, it, it's actually just structural right to the tendons and the muscle, okay? So, okay, so it's just a bad situation. Let's remedy this, all right. So now we just put our hand up like so, okay? And touch the knuckles, perhaps even touch the knuckles or the front here of the students and demo, okay? That you're waving, you're basically rotating about the knuckles and don't wave too far, all right? Just a little bit of a movement here. You can even take the thumb or something and put it behind these second knuckles here, okay? And just push a little bit because you don't have to go very far. And you're, 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 you're hinging about the knuckles. Your pressure is about, oh, whatever these second knuckles are right here in our, in our fingers, okay? So let's put this in context. Let's take the cert pistol, okay? And we are simply doing what we call a C-clamp grip. I learned this from Larry Atch. I like to give credit where credit's due. I'm doing the C-clamp grip here versus a rope grip. So a rope grip comes pressure on the side of the pistol. The C-clamp grip gives the pressure, the force, where we want it to be applied, and that is the front of this grip portion right here, okay? The, all that front area. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that is a C-clamp grip. What I like about this, this is something we can validate for yourself, right? Because I truly believe we can't really teach a mechanic unless we really understand it, and if we can self-validate, that's, that's a big deal. And we all intuitively understand, even students, that we have to separate our trigger finger from our gripping fingers. You may hear out there, okay, you may hear about the 60-40 um, rule. Um, and what, let me just talk about that in the next video.